Web forms are forms that you can add to your website. And when someone completes the form, the information will be added to the CRM as a record. For example, you can create a contact form and add it to your contact page. Then when a website visitor fills out the form, a new lead is created in the CRM. You can also use all forms in a similar way, but we're not going to cover it on this course. Here we are in the web forms tab in the CRM settings. Now add a name and select the module. In this case, it will be linked to the leads module. When someone fills out the form, a new record on the leads module will be created. On this page, you can build the form. Let's add the field first name and also the field email. On the left, we can see that there are advanced use that allows us to use captchas or upload files. You can also change some basic design settings with this menu, but if you want full customization, you can use HTML. We will go over this later in the video. Let's click on next. On this page, we're going to configure some other form settings. First, we have to add where this form is going to be located. This is normally your website's address. You can add multiple pages here. We also need to add a landing page URL. When the form is completed, the visitors will be redirected to the page you add here, like a thank you page, for example. Regarding notifications, you can let the visitor know that you received the information. Here, select choose a default response and click on select template. And let's select the email template we created earlier. If you already set up the integration between the CRM and Sales IQ, you can track visitors with this form. This will add some extra information about the visitor on the CRM record. I recommend enabling this setting. If you didn't set up Sales IQ yet, you can enable this setting later on, but you will have to re-add the form to your website after you edit it. All right, let's save this form. And here we have the embed options window. Click on the drop down to see all the options available. The source one gives you the HTML code. You can copy it and then use a HTML editor to change the code so it matches your website design. Once you add the form to your website, you will start seeing information about how visitors interact with the form. For example, on this account, we have many forms and all of them show some statistics about the visits, form submissions started, and form submissions completed. 